Thank you, ladies. Good evening, everybody. Welcome into the KCA United Sports Zone. Tonight, I'm flying solo in the zone. Jacob Russo is at our game of the week. We'll hear from him shortly. Speaking of this week's game of the week, Spirit Lake pretty fired up after being upset on week one. We'll see what they can do hosting the Class A's top squad, OABCIG. The Falcons coming into tonight on a 14-game winning streak. First quarter, Cooper DeGene drops back and finds Easton Harms. 55 yards. He's going to cause some harm, and it might have been a good idea to go ahead and cover him. Spear Lake responds, though. Quarterback Brett Scott goes on a tear. 25 yards. Picks up some good blocking there, and his team's in scoring position. A couple plays later, takes it in himself. Indians make the extra point. They go up 7-6. to six. Second quarter, DeGene well, he's not just good at slinging it. This dude can run as well. Calls his own number, and, well, it's a good decision. Walks it on in for six. The PAT makes it 13-7. Very next possession, DeGene does it again, weaving through the defense for his third score of the game. Spirit Lake looking to end the half on a high note, but it's picked off in the end zone. Josh Peters with the INT. OAB CIG getting the 27-21 to win. Big win for the Falcons. KCA United's Jacob Russo is live in Spirit Lake and currently brings us our reaction from tonight's well, win. Well, Jake, as you remember in the six, I said that Spirit Lake was going to have to corral Cooper DeGene if they wanted to win this football game, and they did a pretty good job. They got four sacks on the talented quarterback, but it just wasn't enough. DeGene, he had four touchdowns on the game, two in the air and two on the ground. He threw for over, he had over 250 yards in this game. It was a hard-fought game on both sides, but it was the Falcons that came out on top. Uh, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough one, obviously. They come in, uh, had tough loss last week. Uh, they very similar program as far as what they like to do on offense. And, um, you know, we had some adversity. We had a lot of kids go down with cramps and bumps and bruises, and, and we just stepped up, and, and the kids just bought into to doing it. When, when it was their chance, they stepped up. They're, they're a pretty good team. I mean, we faced some adversity early, but we put, we put some points on the board, and we played some tough D when it, when it counted. So we did, we did a lot of things right, but we still got some things to work on, obviously. Well, the Falcons, they make it 15 straight, and now tomorrow, or not tomorrow, excuse me, next week, however, they're going to be at home taking on Missouri Valley to make it to 16-0, and 0, or 16 straight, and 3-0 and 0 on the season. For now, from Spirit Lake, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 Sports. Thanks, Jacob. He's a little jazzed out there. I think all Falcon fans should be. To our other reigning Iowa State champs, West Lyon, the Wildcats, come into tonight after a huge win at Storm Lake. And tonight, take on BHRV, who comes in with a five-game winning streak. The Wildcats coming in on their own seven-game streak, though, so whose, snap is, whose streak is getting snapped tonight? Early in the first quarter, Zach Van Beek rolls out and finds Jason Meyer down the sideline and stretches for the score opportunity, but it comes up short at the two. No worries. On the next play, Zach Van Beek driving it home. Wildcats take the 6-0 lead. Four minutes left in the first. Caleb Katz receives the kick at the 10. And check out the speed he's got. This is one fast kitty. Goes all the way down to the 25-yard line. The Wildcats take this one 28 to nothing. Over in Hayward, and it was a six-pack. Number six, Central Lion, and number six, West Sioux. Central Lion strikes on the very first possession of the game. Zach Lutmer rolling out like he's going to throw it and just tucks and runs. And, well, if you got speed like that, why not? 40 yards, and the Lions lead 7 nothing, just like that. Later, Central Lion looking to add to its advantage. Lutmer fakes the handoff and calls his own number again. Breaking tackles. No one's going to get him down. Second trip to the end zone. 31 yards that time. Makes it 14 to zip. Lions control this one start to finish. 40 to nothing the final. Another ranked matchup down in Council Bluffs tonight. Number four, Lewis Central hosting number three, SBL. Second quarter, and the Warriors need a spark. Bad handoff. Jason Dixon recovers the fumble in the red zone, but the drive stalls later. Future Husker Thomas Fidone, 19-yard touchdown catch here. Makes it 28-7 just before the half for Lewis Central. Then, just before half, Tyler Smith, Ashton Verdorn, the hookup, 45 yards. But that drive stalls as well. SBL falls in this one, 49 to 28. 
We got to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Plenty of big matchups on the other side of the break. Stay in the zone.